everybody, how are you? Seems like a great day to cut my bangs. I do want to grow out my hair. Or I mean, not grow my hair, I want to cut my hair. But I'm not going to cut my hair anytime soon because I'm about to leave for tour in two days and bangs grow like a lot in a week. So I can't wait that long to trim them. I need to grow out my bangs so that I can then cut all my hair because I want my hair short, but I feel like a short haircut would look bad with the bangs. So anyway, it has been a busy day, you guys. A busy, busy day. My kids are not feeling well. It seems as though the twins are coming down with a little bit of a cold or something, which is great timing because that means it will get passed to me probably right as I'm like leaving tour and coming home or maybe at the end of tour. Maybe I won't catch it at all. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping I don't catch it at all. But um, wow, my bangs are a wild haircut right now. Because <laughs> I like trimmed them a little bit, but obviously I only trimmed a few because look at like there's long. <laughs> That looks so bad. Um, maybe I don't want to trim them all. Maybe I just want to trim a little bit of them. One thing that I don't like about these bangs, I mean, there's a lot of things I don't like about them, but I definitely made them too chunky. Like there's too much. Like I want like this much of the sides to grow out. So I might let this chunkiness grow out and because it's like, it's too much, you know what I mean? So that's going to be a really frustrating couple of weeks where just these pieces are growing, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run because I hate them. I don't know guys. Oh God, cutting pinks is so hard to do in the mirror. Okay, I'm already making mistakes. Yeah, it already looks terrible, so that's really cool. Oh, I feel like I'm doing this too short. Yikes. Okay, bangs are shorter. I'm gonna go continue my editing. I'm peeling an apple and I'm gonna take the peels down to my chickens. I'm making them a little plate of apple peels. Okay, I'm really gonna date myself here, but first of all, do any of you guys have one of these things? The like thing you put on the apple and then you shove it on the apple. Here, I'll show you. Put this on the apple like this, and you like, and it squirts you in the face. And then you have all these little apple chunks. Did any of you have this? I'm gonna date myself right now because something that I had growing up that I loved, I'm, I'm sure it has a real name, but what we called it was the apple core peeler slicer. That's a mouthful. Because that is quite literally what it did. It cored and peeled and sliced the apple. And it was great if you like make apple pies and whatever. But the reason I have this thing is because there was a company called Pampered Chef. I don't know if it still exists. I'm sure it does. And my mom used to go to little like Pampered Chef parties. I think we even did one of those Pampered Chef parties. I think it's like a pyramid scheme thing. I don't know if Pampered Chef still is or if it was then, but I just know that like you go to like a woman's house, like a friend of a friend or a relative and they would sell out of a catalog, like all these different like things. Well, two of my favorite kitchen gadgets still to this day are from Pampered Chef. One of them is the apple core peeler slicer. It only worked half the time, but when it did work, it was so cool because it would make the apple like into a slinky. I loved it as a kid. And then also there's this like chopper thing. I still use it all the time. It's the thing where you like put the food in it and you bang on the chopper thing on the top. I know other companies make them, but that was the first place I'd ever bought one. And that one was my favorite was the one from Pampered Chef. Anyway, I'm going to go feed this to me and my children and this to my chickens. We're eating apples and Wesley, I love how he says yay. We'll be like, yay! And Wesley goes, Yay. 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 Whoa. Whoa is right. You okay? I forgot to talk about this. I was texting Eric earlier. I was cuddling Maisie. I was looking at her cute little face. And the way her face was, just like all, it was like squishy and just cute. And she had a little underbite. She was like, and I was like, oh, she reminds me of those like cute little dogs with underbites. And then for some reason, just cause I was like kind of trapped there, she was taking a nap on me, she wasn't feeling good. I started thinking about like what each kid would be if they were a dog. Basically for Maisie, I thought sometimes she looks like and reminds me of this kind of a dog. Yeah. If Maisie was a dog, do you think she'd look like that? Yeah. Or the other thing I thought was very Maisie-ish to me, this kind of a dog. Do you like that one too? Yeah, but I want to see Maisie like the dogs. Well, I want to show you what I think you would be. Uh-huh. That kind of a dog. That's what I think you would be. <laughs> or like this kind of a dog, maybe. Yeah, it's a happy okay. dog. Happy or like dog. this yeah. kind of a dog. That's you! And then for Wesley, I thought Wesley would be like this kind of a dog. <laughs> Just like a cuddly, big, sweet boy. Does that look like Wesley? But it was funny, I was like thinking about how Maisie reminded me of one of those cute little dogs with the underbites. And then she reminded me of the like Cocker Spaniel, I think it's called, like a little miniature Cocker Spaniel type of dog. And I was like, wait, if I had to pick a dog for each kid, and it was like, no question, like I knew exactly how to 
monkey monks. I knew exactly in my head the second I was like, what would all the kids be? Do you agree, love, or do you think different dogs? Yeah, are? I totally agree. No. Right? Like those are exactly like the dogs you think of. No, I think you should like make an animated movie with those dogs. So now my question is, love, what dog do you think I would be? If you had to pick a dog for me, what kind the of dog? The first thing that popped in my head was Doberman Pinscher. What? That's okay. What Just because like, I don't know, I feel like you, the dog you, you look up a picture on your phone that you think of when you see the me. dog that you look most like, I feel like is a Doberman. I'm offended, maybe? <laughs> I'll look up one for you too. I actually know exactly, but I don't think it has a name because it's more of a mutt, what I'm thinking of. A mutt? I never heard of a mutt. You never heard of a mutt? A mutt is like a dog that's- It was the one that daddy was talking about. You never heard of that kind either? Yeah. Okay, this is exactly what I think for you. <laughs> Can I tell you what this picture is called? What? It says, black mutt dog in front of a rustic wall stock photo. <laughs> like even the photo's name. But this is what I would say is you, hold on. This is the one I think of for Eric. Something like that, probably with more colors though. Why? I don't know, I just think if he was like- Something that just needs a rescue? Yeah. Do you want to see you? Yeah, I do. Let, let Flenny pick one for you first, okay? So here's a bunch of dogs. Are any of those the kind you think? Are any of those remind you of daddy? The Dalmatian? I would say so too of all those dogs. So Flynn says Dalmatian, and I actually kind of agree on that one. Why? It's so your vibe to be like a big skinny dog that's like chill, not hyper at all. That Dalmatian. But of all the dogs on this screen, like Flynn and I both sad. are like, not sad, just like sad dog. haggard dog in need of a rescue. No, not, not sad haggard, but I don't see you as like a pure person. You're not a purebred dog, for sure you're not. You're like a mixture of a lot of cool different ones yeah. to make like kind of like a calico looking, like makes, tall, skinny one. I guess that makes one. Feel a little bit better. Well, you wouldn't be hyper. You'd be like a dog that's just kind of like, oh, hey guys. What's the one you have for me? I don't think I'm a fan of you. Dada! Maisie sharing her apples off. Here, this is mommy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Eric says Why this is me. Why does that dog have the same hair as you? Is, that a, is it wearing a wig? I actually agree with you 100% this You're is You're a me. wiener dog. Yeah, I'm a wiener dog for sure. Sleepy. What? Oh, that's so Oh, this says this one has the same neck as me. <laughs> it does. Why does it look like Maisie and Maisie? Wesley? That's a great one for Wesley, Flynn. Flynn says that's Wesley. Isn't that perfect for Wes? This is like Wes. Okay, Flynn, what else? For me. <laughs> Why does that kind of look like her? That is Maisie. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Flynn picked this for Maisie, and it's kind of accurate. Like, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's what Flynn says is for me. Very cute. It's like a Jack Russell Terrier, kind of, or something. What wow. do you guys think of for me, for a dog, for Eric, for a dog, for the kids, for a dog? Aww. I feel like we could do this with every animal. Just like, if we are cats, I feel like I could easily do it with cats. For sure, it'd be so easy. Flynn and I have come out to give apple slices to the chickens. Well, just the peels, actually. And Flynn's getting his... <laughs> His tow truck, so never mind. I don't know that he's coming with me. Look, applesauce is ready. Applesauce is like, yes. Guys, look what I got. Check it out. Come on over, applesauce. Oh, just gonna poop on a rock? Cool. Applesauce is climbing the wall. Miscellaneous oh. is right behind. Yeah, miscellaneous. We might have to give her away because she's a rooster. It looks like. You think she's a rooster? Yes. Why? Because the ones that have like red beaks, rooster. I don't think no. they're roosters. I think they're all hens. We'll see. You guys gonna come eat your apples? Well, no. What, what is applesauce doing? Whoa. Whoa, applesauce, what's going on, girl? Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh, what's happening? Fighting over the apple peels, y'all. There's a bunch, go get some more, there's plenty. You don't have to fight over the one piece. Now you guys are sharing, that's nice. See, there's enough for everybody. Enjoy your apples, guys. Peace out. So I made um, those magnets that I showed you guys the other day, and I had all these leftover like beads that are the letters, and the babies are obsessed with these beads. <laughs> You're so smart. Maisie. Maisie, what's this one? H. H? That's right! Maisie, what's this one? E. E? It's close. It's a B. E. B. What's this one? E. A. 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 O. That's right. That's an O. What is that? That's R. What's this one? H. 
Eight. I love why she says eight. Eight. What's this one? Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Wesley. That's N. Sounds tricky. This one is T. 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 That's right. T. Flynn's playing Sesame Street games up there about the alphabet, and we're playing with the alphabet down here. guys it has been a night it is 10 30 i'm guessing 10 16 and i just finished putting all the kids to bed it was crazy so wesley was just really fussy when he gets sick he really doesn't feel good both the twins just have like a little like head cold the only symptom they're having is like a runny nose so at first i just thought they're teething and that maybe is the case but they both just were fussy and and teething and possibly drooling snotty nose but no other symptoms really so i was like maybe this is cold maybe not i don't know anyway wesley had a really hard day so at like dinner time he was just crying and i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go have one-on-one -on -one time with him so eric stayed with Maisie and flynn and i took wesley up and literally i sat down with him and just the second i sat down he was like oh and like I closed his eyes and like just started falling asleep and it was so early. I was like, oh my gosh, he's really tired. But he took a great nap, he slept great last night, so it was really weird. Anyway, the point is that was really weird. So then I cuddled him to sleep. He wanted to be cuddled to sleep, which he never does. So I cuddled him to sleep. I, I put on his PJs and we just cuddled to sleep. Cuddled him for like a good half hour, something like that. Then it was time to get um, Maisie and Flynn ready for bed. Trying to get Maisie ready for bed, she was super hyper tonight, like crazy. And so I couldn't get her to go to sleep and she kept waking up Wesley because she was like so loud and like excited and talking and singing and like so that was a whole thing and then before I put Maisie to bed Flynn said mommy can you put me to sleep tonight so I was like sure so Eric read Flynn some books while I was putting the twins to sleep finally the twins are asleep at like 8 30 8 45 um for the night even though Wesley had originally fallen asleep at like seven so then I go into Flynn and then Flynn just like was so excited that I was in there with him because I only get to put him to sleep like maybe once a week usually Eric's the one who like does bedtime with Flynn so he was so excited and he was so talkative he was so Funny. You've seen queen bees? Yes! Where did you see a queen bee? Go so take a picture and then she show me. Well, regular bees are black and yellow. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are queens are only black. Really? Yeah. I thought those were just like bumblebees. I know. And, and, all and worms. Quinn knows every worm in the world. Who? Quinn. Quinn knows does? every worm? Yes. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Because there's like the giantest and giantest worm mm -hmm. and it's so long, but not, yeah, it was giant and it was super long. Uh -huh. not, not even long as it was. What was it? I forgot what it's called. But, but he, he knew it? He had a name for the worm? <clears throat> Like no, he didn't name it. Oh, no, I mean, like, it was called, it was a certain kind of worm? Yes, and he knew it. That's wow, smart. that's so smart. If they give me the biggest hug in the world. Daddy told me that you told him. Oh, yeah. That you love me 400. What's it tonight? 600 for. <gasps> what? What about um, trucks? 468, 910. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about hummingbird hawk moths? Four. 1600. Wow. What about banana bread? Two. <laughs> and then he just like would not go to sleep. <laughs> 
he was just having such a hard time and then he was almost asleep and right when he was almost asleep i heard Maisie crying and eric was cleaning the litter box so i was like i know eric can't go and i'm here with flynn but flynn's almost asleep so i had to get up and go because i knew Maisie would wake up wesley if she kept crying so like i had to get up when i got up it woke up flynn more when he was like pretty much asleep and so then i went to get Maisie back to sleep when i got Maisie back to sleep by the time i went back into flynn i was like wide awake it was just like that like the whole night and now it is 10 20 almost so it was a doozy and i have so much stuff to do so much work to do tonight i'm really stressed and overwhelmed and i think the biggest thing i'm like freaking out about is that um i'm doing these shows this weekend i was okayed to do the shows by my doctor by my vocal coach if i just treat my voice properly um i won't be able to do like probably all the songs that i do every show like there's going to be some things i'm gonna have to modify and change a little bit but i have the okay to do it if i do it all safely but i'm so nervous like i'm really 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 nervous that i'm going to like do something to damage my voice more or i'm just not going to be able to get any sound out or i'm going to be i don't know i'm just like so stressed and nervous about it so i'm kind of freaking out tonight um and my throat's feeling like a little bit like tired tonight so i actually should probably shut up and i'm like oh no is this like whatever the cold is that the kids have or is this just like my voice is tired because i talked a little more than usual today and i think it might be that but anyway i'm just overwhelmed and i'm stressed but i would absolutely love an adore if you guys left some tortilla talk questions for me below ask me anything you want because i feel like i don't do those as often as i used to and i really enjoy that and it's a nice way like in my night it's like reading all your comments and chatting with you guys about your comments so leave comments below any questions you have for me and we'll chat tomorrow but for now i'm going to try to get some work done and go to bed sort of at a reasonable hour maybe ish maybe before two in the morning ha that's not gonna happen okay i love you guys i'll see you tomorrow you can relax Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.